welcome back to my channel uh, last uh, the other day I I uh, went to balance my carburetors on the FJ 1200 and I thought I'd just describe to you what I've done because it's hard to film and to record at the same time but let me explain first um, what happens when you balance your carbs you've got um, four of these uh, butterfly valves which basically open at the same time uh, on your bike and the reason why we balance our carbs is for, for these to make the bike run smoother um, it's uh, a good idea perhaps to uh, balance to at least get your butterfly valves bench synced or by eye before you put them on the bike uh, and then you've got a good a good idea about at least it'll be uh, a good start up okay uh, but what happens when you uh, you first adjust your screw from the top on left hand side which brings in the two uh, carbs into your left and then the right hand side brings in the two carbs on the right and the middle screw brings in all the four carbs in together. Uh, but of course before you balance your carbs you want to make sure your bike is serviced. You want to make sure that these uh, diaphragms are, have got no holes or rips in them. Uh, so you want to, and also the obvious thing, which is makes a big difference, make sure the actual jets and the internal components of the carburetors are clean. Let's get to the sinking process. There we can see the bike then. I usually get the bike warmed up. Uh, not super, super hot, but so it can run, on, run, on, run off the choke. Uh, a thing I would recommend is to get some start spray or a uh, starting fluid which I usually uh, spray around the carburetors around the rubbers I should say and then if you know uh, if, if the revs increase and then you know that the uh, you have leaks in the rubbers because I've gone through my rubbers and checked over things I know that uh, mine aren't leaking but that's just a tip from me. And then before you have to start the uh, vacuum uh, testing, you have to remove these little four rubbers these uh, vacuum plug rubbers uh, there's four of them uh, remove those they can be a bit tricky to remove sometimes if they've been on a long time and then after that you get to hang your vacuum gauges whatever you have uh, from your handlebar and connect up the four hoses um, to those inlets on the rubbers. Um, it's pretty obvious how they should go, but make sure you connect up the right hose to the right uh, numbered carburetor. starts up the bike and we get a general idea how our carbs are as I said I started to adjust my uh, two on the left first the little sinking screw uh, and uh, 
You have to slowly feel your way to it. It's, it's nothing you should rush. But, uh, I did the right hand side so I was happy to get them quite even and then uh, to finish off I finished with the middle screw which uh, enabled the left hand side and right hand side uh, to uh, sync together It takes a bit of time, but um, once you get the hang of it, and as I say, if your components are okay, it usually goes okay. It's not rocket science. Fine-tune, fine-tune the whole time, and then uh, sometimes you have to do adjust the turn, the tick over, perhaps sometimes, but uh, it all depends how your uh, pilot jets are. Check now. The day I was filming, it was running on and off, so it was uh, no fun day to film. But uh, I've got a quick film together, so I thought I would load it up, upload it, and help someone. And I did one final check there to make sure I was happy with the final result. And the bike definitely felt a lot. Uh, more responsive. I went out for a ride afterwards and came back and connected up again and uh, I think it paid off. But you can see now all four are pretty even and uh, I was happy with the results. The carb tune I have is uh, the vacuum gauge is a carb tune, a Morgan carb tune. I've had it for years and it's been very reliable and uh, it's not at all expensive. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and uh, I will see you next time. I hope this has helped someone. Bye bye.